A marim is an unmarriageable kin with whom marriage or sexual intercourse would be considered haram, illegal in Islam, or people from whom purda is not obligatory or legal escorts of a woman during journey longer than a day and night, 24 hours. Overview People with whom marriage is prohibited Permanent or blood marams include Parents, grandparents and further ancestors Children, grandchildren and further descendants Siblings Siblings of parents, grandparents and further ancestors Children and further descendants of siblings In-law marams with whom one becomes maram by marrying someone Parents, grandparents and further ancestors of spouse Children, grandchildren and further descendants of spouse Spouse of parents, grandparents and further ancestors Spouse of children, grandchildren and further descendants Note, marriage with stepfather is prohibited only if the man has consummated with her mother Rada or milk-suckling marams with whom one becomes marum because of being nursed by the same woman Foster mother and further female ancestors Foster sibling When a woman acts as a wet nurse that is she breastfeeds an infant that is not her own child for a certain amount of time under certain conditions, she becomes the child's Radha mother and everything concerning blood marams applies here, like Radha father, mother, Radha sister, brother, Radha aunt, uncle and so on. In English these can be referred to as milk brother, milk mother, and so on. For a man, marum women include his mother, grandmother, daughter, granddaughter, sister, aunt, grandaunt, niece, grandniece, his father's wife, his wife's daughter, stepdaughter, his mother-in-law, his Radha mother and any other Radha relatives that correspond to the above-mentioned blood relatives. As the Prophet said, What is forbidden by reason of kinship is forbidden by reason of suckling. These are considered marum because they are mentioned in the Quran and Nisa 22 and marry not women whom your fathers married, except what has already passed, indeed it was shameful and most hateful, and an evil way. Forbidden to you for marriage are, your mothers, your daughters, your sisters, your paternal aunts, your maternal aunts, brothers' daughters, sisters' daughters, your foster mothers, your sisters from suckling, mothers of your spouses, your step-daughters from your those spouses you have entered into them but if you have not entered into them then there is no blame on you, spouses of your sons from your own loins and that you add two sisters except that has passed, indeed God is forgiving and merciful. All of the man's female relatives mentioned in these two verses are considered his maharim, because it is unlawful haram for him to marry them, except the wife's sister mentioned last, who is not a maram because he can marry her if he divorces her sister, or if his wife dies. The notion of maram is reciprocal. All other relatives are considered non-maharim and they fall under the category of strangers. Legal escorts of women during journey A woman's male marams fall into four categories three categories in the strict sense definition that does not count one's spouse. Marams for a man can be derived in a similar manner. However legal escorts of a woman during journey are her husband and with whom she cannot marry due to blood and he is adult and sane relation that include Husband Father, grandfather and further male ancestors Son, grandson and further male descendants Brother Brother of parents, grandparents and further ancestors Son, grandson and further male descendants of sibling Some also include milk relatives. <laughs> Some rules regarding marams and ghayr marams, non -marams. Theoretically, a Muslim woman's marams form the group of allowable escorts when she travels. An adopted brother adopted sister of a woman man is ghayr maram to her him and they can marry each other. The term, adopted, means those children who are adopted by one's parents for the purpose of providing shelter and upbringing and who do not fall under the relationships outlined under the section, who is maram. Above, exception, an adopted brother who suckled the mother of the woman is axiomatically a maram. Except for the spouse, being maram is a permanent condition. 
That means, for example, that a man will remain marum to his ex-mother-in-law after divorcing her daughter. One is ghayr marum to one's ex-spouse. One must not stay with a ghayr marum in seclusion where none of their marums is present see also proxemics. If wives of a man each become a rada mother of a child, all children and all rada mothers will be marum to each other. See also HRM Incest Islamic marital jurisprudence Cousin marriage Reference The Quran, Al-Baqarah, 2-221 Abdul Rahman, Muhammad Saed, Islam, Questions and Answers, Jurisprudence and Islamic Rulings, London, MSA Publication Limited, 2007, pp. 22-23. Packard, Gwen K., Coping in an Interfaith Family, New York, Rosen Publishing Group, 1993, p. 11.